hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel ever since the sit at home that has been taking place in southeast and the sit at home thursday that was you know hyped during the um, visit of president Mahmoud buhari this has started a lot sparked a lot of reactions even before himself have decided to speak strongly as he exposed a lot of things and what ipob should do over the issue of sit at home in fact the suggestion looks a bit different you know but have, we have never seen it in that light before because it looks as if uh, this sit at home order they have the will of the people one way or the other and of course they spoke at length over the fact that the the youth of indi were speaking that their leadership indeed have failed them the leadership of the Ibo, Ibo South is have failed them they talked about a bubago where is a bubago and the fact that some persons had to resign over the issue of Obubak, so many things they revealed. But before we go into the news proper to you know wrap up all this all into one, we'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on YouTube. Well, in Imo State, the coalition of South East Youth Leaders could sell faulted governor hope Zodima for attacking banks in the state for allegedly obe obeying the state of order by the ipob Kosel president general goodluck ibem said that instead of punishing banks for not opening for business against ipob order the governor should apologize for failing to provide adequate security for banks and other businesses to operate on the said date if now he now asks if it is true that banks were ordered to close in Imo State on the premise that they did not open on Monday because of previous IPOB sit at home order, which has been suspended by the same IPOB, which means he's not so sure that um, Governor Hopus or them are suspended, you know, sealed up banks. He said, but he's just saying if it is true based on what he heard, it is unconstitutional and unlawful. Banks have the constitutional right to open for business when it is only safe to do so. Every bank has an insurance cover. Or policy and banks cannot go against the rules of engagement with the insurance company covering their banks. Banks cannot open for business when there is a serious security threat, so that business only a stupid tree will stand in the place after hearing that it will be cut down the next morning. The state and the federal government have failed woefully in their duty of providing security for the people, and the people have to take measures to stay safe. If the state government close close or see the bank for not opening on monday for whatever reason it must pay damages to the bank for disrupting their business a bank can close down their business for a week or more if it is not safe to open for business for instance last monday a vehicle conveying foam was burnt to ashes in anambra state another truck conveying motor spare parts was also burnt to ashes in enugu state the vehicles and the goods destroyed were owned by private individuals who obeyed the government directives to ignore any threat from any quarter the government cannot get any positive result by shutting down banks and personal businesses for not opening on Monday. Rather, the government has to first regain its lost confidence by providing adequate security. Mm. Also went further to react. He said in his in his reaction, I continue, he said in his own reaction, Director Ibo Leadership Development Foundation and Ch Chancellor Ibo Buibo, IBI. Dr. Law Mefor attributed the grand swelling activities of IPOB to poor leadership in Igbo land. Mefor said, Kanu has been able to fill vacuum of leadership created by the ineffectual political leaders, especially by state governors. None of them has been able to stand for Ndibo like Wike is doing in South South and Akere Dolu is doing in the South West. The South West formed Amotekun as a result to growing insecurity in the region. Southeast governors proclaimed Ebubago. Even the head of Ebubago, General Abel Obi Omahi, retired. A direct sibling of Governor David Omahi, the chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum, had to resign to save his name. General Omahi said his committee was not given even an office, let alone the basic logistic support. So, Ebubago is nothing but playing politics with the lives of our people. Nam the Kanu's IPOB formed the Eastern Security Network to secure Igbo land since our governors who receive huge amount of security votes refuse to do so. I agree, I quote him now. I agree with Nam the Kanu. I met him severally when he's still accessible accessible. I understand his mission, though I quarrel with his his abrasive methods and refusal to, to participate in politics. The sit at home or ghost goes town every monday extended to the day of the president's visit is too harsh and misplaced policy because it is in the Igbo and the Igbo economy that are suffering from it 
People have also unnecessarily died as a result. What will create the political pressure is sit at home on the day Iskandar is going to court, especially if Igbos in Abuja are persuaded to stay at home. I personally believe in fully restructured Nigeria, which can afford the war enough self-determination space as a prelude to independence if it is necessary. I am for political and legal processes. We must avoid armed struggle at all costs, free our forests of invaders, and fortify our town vigilantes to ensure basic homeland security. I strongly urge Biafran agitators to form a political movement, participate in elections, and take over political leadership in the East particularly. That way, they will be directly responsible for the people's welfare and security which they crave and for which they have been on war paths with Igbo political leaders. Hmm. Hmm. Quite a different one, I must say. And it makes a lot of sense. So, guys, what do you put in? But let's just finish what, what, what the news is saying. Also, we the president of Igbo National Council, INC, Chilos Godset, said the closure of the bank, despite the suspended state atom directive, has shown that the state government has failed to provide leadership. He urged that by his action, Governor Hope Uzodema of Imo State has demonstrated that he was no longer with the people of the state. According to him, the continued shutdown of banks is because of fear vandalization of the automated teller machine ATM by hoodlums. There were reports of many places where banks were attacked and the government did not do anything about it. How will you expect these banks to open when the government has not provided security for them? The government should be able to provide enough security to protect the banks from being attacked. But honestly, looking at what, um, uh, uh, which, uh, sorry, Mefo, this one is law, Mefo, not Uche Mefo, this one is law, Mefo. Looking at what is it, that's IBI, Ibo, 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 yeah. He's, I think he's the general, president general there. He said, look, you guys have the willpower. You guys have the strength. You have the numbers. You have, because of leadership vacuum that was created, they have been able, you know, to uh, uh, them. They can have been able to fulfill it in. He brought in his ear said, he asked the question, where's the Ibubago? Ibubago that was politically, according to him, he said that even the, the chairperson of Ibubago had to resign because he said they didn't even have office. But here, yeah, ESN was strictly the, the, the brainchild of Mazen and Mikano. And they were armed to, they were, and you, you, everybody saw what they were doing in the bushes. You know, it, was, it was not political, it was real. Amateko is real. You can see it. Hishbe is real. You can see their works. Abubagu, where are you? And he's now saying, look, instead of these uh, uh, different agitators, you know, keep, keep agitators, say, why not, as you are, like that, form a body of politics? And see how you can win the politics and see how they can restructure them from them moving. It's just a suggestion. What's a take? Listen to us.